I'm Tuesday Christensen with Corteva, and today I'm going to be chatting to you about temperature inversions, what they are, how to spot them, and why you should not be spraying in them. First and foremost, if a temperature inversion is occurring in your atmosphere, do not spray. A temperature inversion occurs when a warm layer of air is covering a cool layer of air near the soil surface, creating a lid which traps in particles within that layer so that they're only able to move laterally. That's what makes spraying in a temperature inversion so detrimental. Those spray particles become trapped in that cool air movement and are only able to move laterally, which can result in moving to an off-target site thousands of feet from where the initial target site was. So how do you spot a temperature inversion? Firstly, wind speed. Tracking the wind speed in the field that you're about to spray in is crucial. If it's less than three kilometers per hour, it could indicate that we're in an inversion and you should not be spraying. You can also use weather apps to identify the temperature in the field that you're about to spray. If it's within three degrees of the overnight low, this could also indicate an inversion and you should look at your wind as well as your um, field conditions to ensure that you're not in an inversion. As well, frost and dew present could indicate that the ground temperature is cooler than the air temperature above. And lastly, you are able to use a number of apps to measure the ground temperature at three feet above the ground, as well as seven feet above the ground to determine exactly um, if there's a temperature inversion occurring. If there is a temperature inversion, please do not spray. This could injure your neighbor's crops or your own crops as well. If you're unsure if there's an inversion, feel free to reach out to your local retailer or your Corteva sales representative. Happy spraying, everyone.